Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Let's see if he or she, yep, yeah, there she is, or he, I really don't know uh, what this cat is. And it's, it's kind of a sickly, for a wretched little creature. You guys know me, I just, I can't stand it. <laughs> uh, I was out, yeah, come on. Yeah, I was at, one of the cats got out, I think, uh, Peepoy, and was across the road, and I heard a cat uh, crying over there, so I thought maybe the dogs had chased her over there, and they had, but uh, the first cat I heard was this one, and I think it's a female. It, it's got kind of calico coloring, but... Um, there's no red. Usually calico have an orange or a red. This one's just kind of like black and white. I can't tell. I think it's a male, actually. But anyway, unlike my cats, this is this cat what did belong to somebody, and it's incredibly affectionate. Um, <laughs> I made the mistake. It came by, you know, like three days ago, and parked itself outside my bedroom window and started hollering. How it knew I was in there, I don't know. So I felt sorry for it. It's skinny. It's just skin and bones. It's got mange, I guess. I guess that's what that is. And so I made the mistake of feeding it. <laughs> and now, uh, this is kind of where it lives. It's been here the last couple days. It kind of parks up on top of the up on top of the uh, well house there. And I fed it another couple times. And now it, it like it, it thinks it's my cat. Yeah, you do, huh? Uh, even even though I raised Ming Ming and cared for her from the time she was a tiny little kitten and her kittens as well, none of them are anywhere near as affectionate as this cat and I've only known it for like three or four days. Uh, it's a <laughs> it's an amazing thing. Huh, yeah, you're just a you're just a friendly little cat. So, Marcel would kill me if I ever brought this cat inside, so I'm not going to. Uh, I just don't want to hear it. So, it'll be, yeah, you just, you're very friendly. So, um, I'm going to take care of it out here. I'll feed it out here. I mean, it's got, it's got a wound here that has healed now, I think. You know, it was in, he or she, something bit it, and... You know, I just, you know, I, I can't just see an animal. Uh, get down off of me. Uh, I do, you know, I just can't stand it. I'm going to have to, I'm not going to adopt it into the house, into the other crew, but I will feed it. I'll, and I'm going to get some ivermectin. I don't know what else to give it. Uh, I'll ask the vet. Uh, I don't know what to do for this mange that's around its, its face and its ears other than ivermectin. Um... And I don't think we're quite uh, pards enough for me to give it like a shampoo or something like that. Uh, I do have some main shampoo for the dogs, but <laughs> you, you're, you're not going to ride on my shoulder or nothing like that. You might as well get down. Um, I'll ask the vet what the, what the best course of treatment uh, would be. Yeah, you're, you're very friendly. You're a very friendly little cat. So, uh, you guys name this cat. <laughs> yeah, you're very sweet. Yes, you are. You're a very sweet cat. So, the, uh, the pool is opened. I'll name it, uh, uh, if there's, if there's, uh, we'll narrow it down to a couple and then we'll, maybe we'll vote on those. And that's, you know, this... The, the dogs kind of know this isn't one of our quote-unquote cats and so they still chase it around sometimes that's why it's it's hiding out up here in the well house hopefully it'll stick around and uh, me interacting with it maybe they'll they'll come to accept it as uh, a farm cat because that's all this cat's ever going to be it's going to be a farm cat I'll feed it uh, once a day and I'll and I'll give it whatever vet care that uh, I can afford to give it, but it's not going to be a house cat like the other cats.
Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, we just gave away a cat to uh, Nerio and his family, and uh, we're grateful that we could that we have that we have one less cat. So um, <laughs> really need this cat like a hole in the head, but I'm just too much of a softy. I can't. Uh, I just can't let it. Uh, starve and and it's really skinny whatever it is. He, he I think he is just really thin this was someone's cat I don't know if it just got lost but I can tell by how affectionate it is this was probably someone's cat it got lost or they uh, they took it on a one-way ride I don't know what the what the backstory is yeah what's your name huh what's your name but anyway uh, he well, there is a little bit of red down on that foot. You know, I'm checking for the, the red because that would make it like calico, and only females are calico. Only like one in a million calico cats are male. Um, yeah, I know, and that's got to be bugging you too, huh? I don't know what to do for you. I'm not going to give you a diesel bath like my dad would have done. Uh, we, uh, I think I'm going to go over and get, try to find some Azola tomorrow, and maybe we'll go buy uh, Mike and Bonnie's. Uh, I've got a message in to see if they're going to be home tomorrow. So maybe we'll swing by the vet as well. I've got to get Nene some uh, more ear mite medicine. She gets ear mites that ha I have to treat them like every other month. She never had this problem in the States. But here she gets ear mites and her ears starting to bug her again. Yeah, I see her shaking her head there. So uh, I've run out of medicine for her. And I meant to get, we were in town today and I meant to get some, but I forgot. So, uh, two things we got to get tomorrow, some ear mite medicine and, and talk to the vet and see what we can do for this little stray cat here. Uh, other than, other than two, other than sardines and rice that the other cats get, uh, it's not going to have any kind of special treatment here. But yeah, you can see that old wound. It's healed up, but there's an old scar there. Uh, something. Something tried to kill you. Yeah, it did. But you must have been pretty light on your feet. And you escaped. Good on you. I think, you, you know, a natural bobtail and a calico has got to be pretty rare. Yeah. And a, and a personality like that's pretty rare, too. <laughs> You're just the sweetest little cat. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. You're the sweetest little cat. Well, all right, guys. We're going to end this one up. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.